The city has depreciated annually since 1995, according to uh, data from Bloomberg. Now, the 25 years of continuous fall of the local currency has made imports expensive, exports cheaper, as well as business planning ineffective. Ebene Jekum Boateng has been exploring more on the city. Data on the CD per the Bloomberg Terminal started in 1995 with a depreciation of 28.87%. The fall in value of the local currency continued in 1999, depreciating by 42.68%. In 2004, it depreciated by 1.69%, continued and fell by 11.10% in 2009, and went down by 26.17% in 2014. The trend continued till 2019 when the Ghanaian currency depreciated by 13.08%. Over the last 25 years, there's always more need for the dollar, more need to import than our ability to export. Almost 80-70% of the things that we spend or we use in Ghana are all imported. Chances are that you have a lot of CD that you need to purchase fewer dollars. The depreciation has impacted negatively on businesses. The price of things we buy from outside is constantly going up. For the common man, it hits your pockets and private prices get more expensive. For the few people who happen to be exporting, now they have more CDs for every dollar of export they make. Every time the CD drops in value, what happens is that the cost in CDs of our borrowing from people from outside has increased. Ghana's efforts in strengthening the CD have always been short-term measures. The CD's value is determined by simple people doing the things that they want to do in the market. Pumping dollars to hold the value is a short-term measure. It may work for a month or two. They just pump in and just one company or two companies will just go and buy everything. Two days, three days time, the city uh, stabilizes, then it becomes worse again. Our central banks are engaged in voodoo economics where they assume that by periodically injecting dollars in the market without the support of goods and services that the economy will grow. That is voodoo economics which cannot take anybody anywhere. Joe Jackson and Patrick Abankwaba made some recommendations. The solution to the city's depreciation is actually in the short term allowing it to depreciate more. In the short term, there will be a lot of pain. Prices will go up. But as prices go up, people will change their habits. Yeah, but the one district, one factory, and the, uh, they should not try to expand the one district, one factory. If you're able to produce more things that we are using in Ghana, uh, even you and I, we will not need to go and get dollars to buy things from China and India. Will 2020 see the reversal of the continuous depreciation of the local currency? Eben Ajekumbuatin, TV3, Accra. Let's still stay a while on the CD and talking about the CD to the dollar in terms of performance, it has actually remained stable to the dollar, that is the CD, at a rate of 5 cities, 53 pesos, with a year-to-day depreciation of 0.01%. Again, the CD has appreciated against the euro as well as the pound and the difference is 0.11% and 0.21% respectively to the pound and the euro. In terms of figures, let's see uh, exactly what I was talking about. Per the interbank uh, rates there, which vary from one bank to the other, it is at five Ghana cities, 53 pesos, and this is how much you buy or it will be sold to you when you visit any of the banks there. That is how much the banks will be trading amongst themselves. For the t city to the Great British Pound, it is being bought at seven Ghana cities, 18 pesos, and uh, being sold to you at seven Ghana cities, 19 pesos as well. It was uh, a bit lower than what we're seeing here yesterday, a bit higher, I beg your pardon. That was seven Ghana cities, 19 pesos on Monday. So definitely you see that appreciation there of the city to the Great British Pound. And finally, for the city to the euro, also being bought and sold at six Ghana cities, 13 pesos. So uh, I'm sure we can remain a bit optimistic for the city to the other currency, seeing stability and appreciation from Monday till today. Let's see how the days would continue till Friday.